Okay, everyone, um, just going to do a video tonight. Uh, hopefully, we'll get it done in the 15 minutes. I can sort of show you with me drawing a few things. Is the base? I've got to get this one to, done tonight so I can concentrate on um, a couple other videos that I've got to finish off. So, what we're going to do is um, going to be making a base from a picture frame components of a picture frame, so picture frame there. So what I've done is I've got a piece of cardboard now as you can see I've already started doing a few things to this. We want to a fairly thick piece of cardboard which is reasonably grainy. Now what I've noticed on the couple of the pictures I've seen of these Israeli um, sort of runways and stuff they were done in like concrete blocks so um, just basically did a quick grid it doesn't have to be completely perfect uh, and what we'll do is we'll firstly uh, we'll start scribing the lines so what I normally do is um, lay my ruler down the line like such to there and then my good old hobby knife I'll just put a not cut all the way through, but just put a score mark, okay? So you'll see there's a score mark there. Now, I explained earlier in one of the videos, see how this is an old hobby knife, it's got part of the tip broken away. So, what we'll do is we'll use this now as a scribe, so we use the knife upside down, put the ruler back to where we were. And then just a couple of scribe marks, not all the way through. All we want to do is just make it hold it better. And there it is there. Now see how it's gone a little bit torn and grainy? Don't worry about that yet. Um, that's just all part of the process that we're going to be working on. But anyway, I'll finish this one off and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've got it scribed here now. What we're going to try to effectively do now is in some parts of the concrete pads we want to simulate a little bit of scratch and damage and chipping and broken concrete so the simple way of doing this is what I've started doing here is in some of the areas on some of the corners if you take out a whole corner just scratch back with your knife until you get a bit of a uh, bit of a a broken look so it looks a bit jagged and, and rough so we'll continue doing that just just randomly some of them you don't have to do at all um, you can even go right down the sides of one you know like this sort of style here you now all this raised bit here that comes up the fluffy bits don't worry about that too much um, this will be all part of the effect that we'll be looking at later. So um, don't stress too much if it uh, if you worry about the fluffy look. So I'll just keep and just start distressing this a bit more and then um, I'll come back to you and sort of get a bit of a result. No worries. Rightio. So we've got our distressed concrete with some tattered edges and things and put a few things in here to replicate um, cracks in the concrete. Now when you do cracks in the concrete I just use the sharp point of the hobby knife and sort of draw it into the cardboard but you'll notice on a lot of concrete the crack will start where the concrete has been broken for some reason so if you're going to put a crack like this one through here make sure that you put like a distress mark or some chipping in the concrete for a reason for it to crack. Um, I've delaminated this one all together just to add uh, a bit of texture and some contours in the colour that you'll see um, later on. So what we'll do now is, um, just let me do this bit here, and don't be scared to give it a good old um, 
roughen up, you know what I mean? Give a bit into it in a few spots. So what I'll do now is I will get some floor polish. Um, you can use watered down PVA glue and um, just a big brush. And what we'll do is um, I've got a bit of a big brush. I put it away. Um, I want a nice big brush, and we will go over all this that we've done, the cardboard, and we will paint the uh, long life floor polish on. Now, I find it better to paint it on with a paintbrush than. Um, with the airbrush, um, just so we get a a good consistency, and you know, want some sort of um, enough for it to soak into the cardboard a little bit. So uh, I'll keep going with this, and I'll be back to you when I finish. Rightio, so we got it painted. Now this is not the base colour, but what we've done with this is it's going to act as a sealer. But you'll notice when you start putting it on how the um, cardboard soaks up a lot of the long life floor polish straight away. Um, this will stop the paint, otherwise we'll put heaps and heaps of paint. It's cheaper by floor polish than what it is paint. So, um, but you can see now with the contrast in the textures and some of the broken lines, and you'll notice when we start brushing it down that um, if you sort of tease some parts up the conk, which we can, we will use um, to act as like bits of grass or moss or whatever. Pieces are sticking up too far. Just you know, just brush them down. Just work the, because it'll go quite soft. So just work the uh, the paper to how you would like the effect. Um, the cardboard will have a tendency to want to roll up, so make sure you keep it flat. So we'll um, just let that dry, <clears throat> and then what we'll do then is um, we'll give it a a coat of uh, a concretey sort of a a colour, so Humbrol did make a concrete, and I didn't realise they don't make it anymore, but we'll find something that we can mix up to a concrete consistency type colour, so, and then we'll paint all those up, and then we'll keep working from there, so um, I'll let this dry and we'll get back to you at the painting stage. Okay, just dropped it, so. Once it's dry, it's sealed up. What we will do is the piece of glass in the picture frame, we will use that and glue this back down again. You, know, you could just use PVA glue, super glue, whatever you want to do. So we'll glue it down and uh, then we'll come back and we'll start doing the painting. Now, the painting all we use is some life colour grey reflectance, high low. Um, the only reason I'm going to use it is it sprays like crap from your airbrush and it's just a gooey mess and lumpy since the day I bought it and when I tried to spray it a few times it's failed so it's going to go into the sloppy grey department so I'll get back to you then and we'll start doing some painting but don't forget to blow it down Right, so we're putting the paint on, I've just about finished mine now when you get to some of these areas which you've weathered, um, make sure that you give the paint like a little bit of st stibbling in these, around the edges and cracks. Um, and what that will do will give you some sort of texture effect, but also um, uh, give you some sort of variation too. And what I have, to, what I do. Uh, I'll go one way on one concrete panel like that with the brush strokes that way and then this one I'll go the opposite direction to give me with the brush strokes create some sort of um, sort of 
effect of the concrete where it's been sort of finished off. Um, concreters will sort of finish off these slabs like they're preformed, but they'll be they'll be finished off. So once you've got a base coat like that on it, um, what we'll do is we'll wait that to dry, and then um, we'll add um, a few little oil stains. So uh, we will just keep working the paint not too much now because it's starting to dry off so we just want to do a little bit of just a little bit of stibbling now with the brush so stibbling is just that sort of don't use one of your good brushes for it either but uh, just sort of that sort of effect where you sort of leave little bits of paint in just in random patterns so it gives you some sort of effect I'm going to have to do this video in two parts because it's taken longer than what I thought so but we'll get this done when this dries then we'll go back over it with the um, future but before we use the future we might put a few uh, grimy oil stains and a few things on the concrete so we'll see what it goes right so I'm going to put just a couple of little black oil grimy stains on here and, and what I'm going to use is just to me a panel line wash now they make a brown and that as well but I'll go for black so it looks like oil and all I'm going to do is just with the tip of the brush just load the uh, the, the Tamiya's brush up and um, we'll go and just add a few little marks around randomly um, we'll put one down here like such and then we'll um, you don't want them too close together and then we'll put another little one up here like that and what we'll do is, so it looks like someone's trying to wipe it up at one stage we will um, just add a little bit more here and so some good mechanic looks like they've cleaned it up we will um, do a little wipe like that so sort of get an effect now if you want to feather these out a little bit so they just use a cotton bud and a few stains we'll leave a couple as fresh oil marks like that one um, by just dabbing it now with a cotton brush and uh, same with that one there <coughs> they should dry out and we'll seal those everything over again with a, a coat of future or floor polish rightio so what I'll do now is in a little old lolly thing I mixed up some acrylic humbrol 29 um, which comes in a little starter set so I find these little things still quite handy I watered it down to a watery consistency now what we'll do now is with this watery consistency we will lay some of this into these areas after this has been um, had a coat of floor polish over the top of it so we'll put a wash of this humbrol paint into these areas and then we'll just sort of go over the the whole lot so give it a give it a wash and um, just work some of it into the into the cracks. So I'll keep working on that, and then I'll get back to you um, with the result. That's if I like it. No worries. Yeah. So after we do a little bit of just dry brushing, and just scrubbing in the lighter shades back again that we first started with, we're sort of starting to get a little bit of an effect. The um, distressed look starting to come up, and um, the only other thing we can do now is once we uh, put a flat coat on it we can put like little bits of uh, tufts of grass or whatever in there and the cracks and everything so um, I'm sorry it took about a bit longer than I thought so take care, model hard and stay tuned for part 2.